another public transport vehicle ripped apart by a grenade in Nairobi. This is the third since Kenya sent forces into Somalia to fight the militant group Al-Shabaab. Stakeholders in the public transport sector are now raising concern. Simon Kibutai is the chairman of the Matatu Owners Association. He is a worried man. These people would always want to target an area where there are people who would die. And uh, I don't understand what kind of human beings these are. And I wish those also stay in and die too and feel the pain. Some companies, however, have heightened security at their bus terminals. They frisk everyone who boards the buses and minibuses. But still, there is a challenge. During the day, we search people, but on the road we pick the people where we don't search. So we are 50-50. Some passengers get off the buses along the way. Others board to occupy the empty seats. That is where many of the attackers are believed to take advantage. Every single day, about 80% of the residents here in the city of Nairobi use public transportation to various destinations in and around the city. And every time a public transport vehicle is hit, anxiety grows, not just among the commuters, but also the public transport operators. The problem is where you board the bus. Most of the places, people are not checked. They need to have security officers on the buses who search people at all bus stops before they board the buses. So we too decided to take a ride on one of the buses. Bus drivers too believe security officers aboard the buses could help greatly in dealing with the problem. Maybe it will reduce the our roads. Though many believe Kenyans have to be vigilant and spot any suspicious characters boarding and getting off the public transport vehicles, others feel it is still the responsibility of the government to provide adequate security for its citizens. Kofam Renge, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.